The way Supreme Court nominees have talked about their own legal philosophy and about their own paper trail has really changed in the last three decades. Famously, Judge Bork, who was nominated for the Supreme Court in 1987, sort of made no bones about being quite a vigorous defender of his own views and about being sort of really out there in espousing his conservative philosophy. And it backfired on him. He was not confirmed to the court. And really, ever since, there has been uh, a steadily uh, eroding uh, willingness of these nominees to really be too particular and too candid about their view of the law. Part of this is judicial restraint. Part of this makes sense. But in the view of some legal scholars, these nominees have really taken it too far uh, and are no longer even willing to sketch out their basic thinking or their basic philosophy of the law. A famous example was when Clarence Thomas was nominated for the court. Judge Thomas spent a couple of days before the Senate Judiciary Committee saying almost nothing about his judicial philosophy. Uh, he even at one point testified that when he was in law school, he had never had any conversations about Roe versus Wade. I'm sure you're not suggesting that there wasn't any discussion at any uh, I, time of Roe versus Wade. I cannot, I, uh, Senator, I cannot remember personally engaging in those discussions. This struck many as either disingenuous at best or a revelation that he wasn't, didn't care about the law at the worst. Republicans generally like to come before the Senate and describe themselves as dispassionate, as umpires. Um, that metaphor was taken sort of to its extreme by John Roberts when he was nominated to be Chief Justice. Judges are like umpires. Umpires don't make the rules, they apply them. And I will remember that it's my job to call balls and strikes and not to pitch or bat. Uh, it was a very clever and effective and punchy soundbite at the time. Uh, it actually helped him win confirmation. But since that time, uh, his detractors, not only on the left, but occasionally on the conservative right, have said that Chief Justice Roberts uh, has done more than call those balls and strikes, that he's been way too aggressive an umpire. Uh, and so that was a quote from his confirmation hearing that had that helped him get on the court, but has been sort of held over his, his head where it really can't do him any harm because he's on the court anyway ever since. As for Judge Gorsuch himself, I think we'll all be watching to see how much of himself he reveals. He'll be pressed hard by the Democrats on his statement that he made behind closed doors to Senator Blumenthal of Connecticut during his uh, early round of courtesy calls on the Hill about being disappointed in President Trump when President Trump uh, was so personally critical of federal judges. To the judges' supporters, uh, this suggested a degree of independence from Donald Trump that they think is a, was a politically wise move. Some of his detractors don't think that think that it was only a very limited bit of independence. So how much Judge Gorsuch shows rhetorically an independence from the president who nominated him, an independence from political pressure, I think that's another thing we'll be watching for.